Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to show you how to realign your pattern box. custom quilted this quilt I used an edge to edge but in these larger squares I left the stitching out I cropped the stitching out so that I could place in a block so I want to show you once you have your block set up it's just like making your own quilt area and you insert your pattern box and you quilt in it but then if you're repeating the same thing over and over I just want to show you how to tell the machine that you want to stitch this same block without having to pull it up, resize it every time. So I am going to point you, we're gonna work on this block here, just so I can be to the side and you can see what I'm doing. The first thing that I do is that I outline stitch around the block just so that I can have a nice flat area I also could stitch this on my machine but since these squares are not straight and I would it would take me a lot more effort to do it to make sure that it lines up appropriately it's just easier for me to do with my ruler so let me get some tack stitches tie off stitches and now we're just going to go ahead and outline this block first. And now we're back at the beginning. I'm going to do a few tie-off stitches. And pull up my bobbin thread. Okay. So now we've got our spot outlined. What I now want to do is tell the computer where I want to stitch the actual flower. So I'm going to lift you up. Now have our box outlined and I've just raised the camera up so you can see the screen. And what we now need to do is go to layout. So over here on the left, we wanna hit the layout menu. And then over here we have a wrench. And this wrench tells it that you wanna modify your pattern box instead of creating a new pattern box or an additional pattern box and then I have the screens it says set the first point in the pattern box and so I would have to lean in and then once I'm in that corner of the square down here I'm in the corner I'm going to go ahead and hit plus mark Go to the next point. I'm going to go down to my next corner. Lean in and hit the plus mark again. I hit the plus mark. The tripod's on my shoe. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the next corner. And normally you could just go diagonally, but since I know these corners are not square, I'm trying to get as accurate without putting in a whole lot of points. And then up here at the top, this is going to be my last point. So I can go ahead and hit this checkbox, check mark. And now I have my square here. So since all of these 
boxes are different sizes. All of these squares are different sizes. I like to go ahead and make sure that I'm centered because I can see it's more to the left than it is to the right. I just want to make sure, so I go to edit. And then I go to the move, which is your second icon down. And then I just tell it to center both directions. And now I'm ready to stitch. And then I just go to home. And I hit the green button. It's asking me, are you sure your machine is ready to move? It is. I have my needle up. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then the machine will move to start stitching. So it's asking me to raise my bobbin thread, which I just did. I hit check mark and it's going to start stitching. It takes about two minutes to stitch out this particular flower. So it's doing the tie off stitches and that's basically it. How you modify your pattern box to stitch the same pattern somewhere else on your quilt top. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.